Hi Gemini, welcome to your quantum reading with me, Jocelyn, the Quantum Queen. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising, and as always, welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with a Gemini, <laughs> and the um, message could actually be for you, so feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings, and if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below. Promise they're about to open up. I know I've been saying that for a while, and that's unbelievably annoying, but um, I promise they will. You can go ahead and just subscribe to my website, and you'll get a notification right when they open up. And as always, just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, thank you for all your donations, and... I've been getting like quite a few messages that people aren't getting notified of my videos when they upload. So if you guys are having that issue, just go ahead and jump back to my um, regular page, like my main page, and you can click on that notification bell. Or you, I believe it's down below. So you can click on the notification bell and just click all and that should fix that. I don't know, YouTube is being weird, so. Just wanted to let you guys know in case you're experiencing that. All right, Jen. Okay. What I was getting, let me pull your door really quick. I'll lose it. Nice. Okay. All righty, Rue. Let's jump in. Sorry, I, found, I sound loopy. I'm, I'm on my next fast. I'm eight days in just water, <laughs> so, but at least you guys know my intuition's on fire, so that's the good thing, but I sound, I sound drained, that's why, okay, you've got blossoming and release, lovely, so, yeah, you guys might be going through some type of release right now, and through it, something else is coming out, like something else is blossoming, for some reason, the way I'm seeing this too, Jen, is like, that could be tied to some type of creativity that you have. Maybe you guys connect with music or something. Um, but yeah, this week might be really interesting for you because I do get the sense that there might be a really big release that happens for you and the butterflies are in there so yeah it's going to bring a huge transformation maybe physically or emotionally or however that is for you in your situation okay the other thing that i was getting is i think that you guys are still kind of like looking back at something like it's kind of like you're being told to kind of move forward to the future, but you're still kind of looking back. And <laughs> it's kind of like your guides are trying to be like, no, like look forward, look to the future. But you're, you've still got your eye on something from the past. Maybe it's a relationship or a situation or something that still kind of influences you in some way, shape or form. Okay. So you have got, let me pull it in this way. Okay, gem. I'm gonna start with this card. So let's start with the King of Cups. Um, could be a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And then overhead, I actually, I'm gonna put the Strength card because I feel like you could be also dealing with a Leo. But that's where I feel like the transformation is happening or there's a release of some type of like fear. You're, something's going to come in pretty significantly. And like I was saying, it might feel a bit intense because you're going to be like, uh, it's pretty much going to scare the shiz out of you. Not to freak you guys out, but I'm just saying like on the other side of it, you're going to blossom you're gonna feel much more confident, much more assured, much more ready to take a risk. You're gonna gain a lot of courage to go out and do more things because once you get through it, you're gonna feel like, oh, I can handle myself. And if I've got my connection to the universe, then I'm gonna be fine, okay? Now, here's the other cool thing that I see about this. 
We have the Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. I feel like there's going to be communication that comes in. There's going to be offers, like very generous offers that come in to you. Um, maybe whatever this is. Let me dive into the other cards. On the other side, we've got the Seven of Swords. That's, I feel like that's you holding back, though. That you're kind of like still cautious. Oh, you remember what I was just saying about that you're still caught up on the past? I feel like offers are going to come in and you're still kind of looking at just because of the past energies. We have um, all these planets are finally going out of retrograde. Thank freaking God. And But we still have Mars in retrograde and Mercury is about to go into retrograde. So there's still this weird like reminder of past energies just because there's transformations taking place from that so whatever happened in your past where you feel like you accepted some type of generosity you're you might still be looking for that situation to play out in the way that it does so when a some type of generous offer comes in towards you i feel like this is you that you're kind of expecting it to be not what it was this is kind of you being strategic, like you're strategizing, you're trying, because that's what the Seven of Swords is, it's a strategy. So you're trying to like put a strategy in place as you're going through this release and this transformation, okay? Because you are blossoming, it's actually really cool. What is that? The Nine of Swords, wow. The freaking fear and anxiety card is in your fear position. So some of you guys might be in some type of situation where yeah, you have some intense fears that are coming up, maybe even losing sleep about something. And you are, this energy is totally going to blossom into something huge. Because I feel like pretty much it's time for you to kind of open up a little bit more. Seven of Swords is like a holding back. It can be, maybe even for some of you guys, it's a secret. So it's kind of like when you're going into situations, you're not really revealing certain things about yourself, which isn't bad. Like, I think it's okay, but I just get this sense that just based off of what you've learned in the past, you're still kind of like holding back certain things that you reveal about yourself. And I think it should, oh, actually what I'm getting is kind of like too much too soon. Like you might have learned the lesson that you revealed too much too soon in certain relationship or past connections. So that could be something that you're, why you're kind of still holding back. You've got the emperor. So that's where I feel like someone's coming in. It doesn't have to be like, that could be a boss or an authoritative figure, a parent, someone like that. But it, the way I see that is someone's coming in that's like attained something or has some type of stability. Maybe they own a business or they own a house. There's just something that they've maintained that maybe even um, you're looking to attain yourself. Whatever they've manifested for themselves, like there might be a lot of things that you learn from them. You might also be learning a lot of like how to strategize, how to be a little bit more tactical on like walking into situations or relationships is kind of what I'm seeing in your mind with the eight of swords. These are like, oh my gosh, Jen, look at this. You have the seven, the eight and the nine of swords. So yeah, there could be something where in your mind you're like super, this is what will happen when you go through the release. That's the release process is that you have to release your overthinking because that's just going to cause a crap ton of cortisol release. And I just get this sense that once you go through kind of this process, like I said, that will be really intense on the other side, you're going to freaking blossom into something really, really beautiful. And it might even open up avenues of your creativity it's going to expand you in a really amazing way but i just feel like with the strength card it will take some courage like a lot of people are getting the strength card today and i feel like it's because you might be being pushed to do something 
take a risk or do something out of your comfort zone that you're not used to because it will help to break that barrier of the energy and transform you and push you into something better. But also at the same time, it will be kind of like you're mastering yourself because at this pivotal time of release, whatever tools that you've accumulated to bring yourself into balance, like say for example, you guys have like, disciplined practices because the emperor is very disciplined that's why the emperor is the emperor because they've learned to master themselves and during these really crazy times is kind of those pivotal times that prove like how much you've learned how much you'll stick to the the tools that you have to really like master your own mind and your own energy and sometimes like if you fall out of that then an illusion can take you over and then all of a sudden like all this energy overtakes you fear and anxiety overthinking and then all of a sudden you're having to kind of like sneak or you're not revealing things about yourself um so just be cautious of that wow and your final gem these are really freaking intense cards you could be dealing with a capricorn but yeah you've got the freaking devil energy I don't, oh man, this is really intense. I'm not gonna lie. There's kind of like a relationship. What I'm hearing, Jen, is this is kind of like your Darth Vader or your Voldemort. Like there's something that's like really, really pushing you to your transformation. It could be a parent or an abusive relationship. Um, do you know what I always say? Behind every empath is a narcissist pushing them to their transformation. It's not enjoyable. I know that nobody really wants to hear that, but that's actually what I'm seeing in your reading because these are really crazy intense cards. So do not be surprised about what comes in because I feel like, yeah, you're gonna blossom into something really freaking beautiful but you're going to go through a crazy release to get to that point. And believe me, I've been there. Why do you think I do all these crazy water fasts? Because I know that there's a huge like transformation that comes from them. Look how cool though. Your door opening is begin here. Do not fear what travel brings, my dear. The moment is yours. Begin now here. you got a beginning opening up for you. Awesome. And... Some of you, it could bring travel. Like there could be something opening up. You guys might be traveling or relocating somewhere. I wouldn't be surprised too because you've got the Eight of Wands back here and you're um, kind of like a little bit of your energy that's supporting the whole reading from behind. So I'll dive into the extended. We'll see what other details want to come out. So of course, if you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Gem, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.